Hello, everybody. It is me, Western Devil. Welcome back. <laughs> Today's the day I'm re explaining some things. So, uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because I can't get it out of my mind what those people in Midland were doing to me. Pretty fucked up. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't ignore it. it it really pisses me off like I could have like I could have saved myself but now I just don't have the courage to do anything so it's going to so the hospital is called oceans mental hospital it's in Midland Midland Texas so basically I'm gonna explain all the things I've been feeling while it's in there. Uh, one of the things you're going to experience, the your first four days in, you're going to experience a uh, body shut down. Your body is just going to just want to just give up because the place is so negative and so fucked up. Pe the, the people that work there are so fucked up. The doctors there there the doctor the, the, the doctors there are so fucked up and so corrupt so yeah body shut down is going to be one of them uh i experienced that like pretty much throughout the whole time i was there it's just wow this is my new life just body shut down uh, let me see here number two is going to be given up you're gonna just give up entirely and just accept your fate. Accept, accept your fate. That's basically what I'm saying. So yeah, the second feeling you're gonna get is just giving up. And uh, number three, the, 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 the third thing you're going to experience in that hospital is racism. Race, racist, racism is all in the air. Let me tell you, I'm white, I'm Tex, I'm Texan, like I'm white, I'm from Texas, I'm related to a bunch of hillbillies, but them motherfuckers are still racist, even to me. Like, oh my God, bro. Oh, we could call the court, we could have them check you we can have them see if you need to be locked up okay like, hey, what we can do is we can get a court deal and the court it will decide whether you need to be hospitalized or not what the fuck you know so they're literally they were literally threatening me like you don't need a court deal unless you act you don't need the court to decide if you need to be hospitalized longer or not. Okay? The court is there for crimes. The court's there for crimes. And if there's any mental hospital people out there that are watching this or if you work at a mental hospital i just i just want to get things straight fuck you for 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 one thing thing number step number 2 is mental me, mental mental health mental mental health it's not crime if I have a mental, if, if I'm not mentally unstable, it's not a crime. You don't need to be trying to force court shit onto me because it's not a crime. There was no crime done. It's just a fucking video that means nothing. And yes, there might be some people out there that are actually recording, oh, hey, I'm going to go kill my dad. Truly enough, they actually do it. 
that maybe, maybe that's a thing. Yeah, I understand that. But the thing is, you need to figure out if it's real or fake. Do I really call the cops and report that this guy is actually doing something or not? But I never did anything. I never did anything. And I was pulled into the hospital, had all this shit thrown on to me, and I'm like, wait a minute. I literally did nothing wrong. But they don't know that. They don't know that I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. I did absolutely nothing. I did. I posed no threat. I did not go in there and start screaming at him. I did not go in there and start yelling, hollering. I did not get my bat and start waving it in his face. I didn't. I didn't do. I didn't do any of that. But they don't know that, and therefore they think, and therefore they just did all that shit. So technically, I'm in the right, and then they're in the wrong because they're a bunch of fucking psychopaths. And I just, there's another thing that I want to get straight. There are two different types of people. There's not three. There's two different types of people in this world. Pe person number, person, <coughs> person number one is I'm scared. People that are scared of what's to come. You know, that's people like us. Pe that is Repub Republicans. United States Republican Republic. I can't even fucking speak. Hold on, I need a second. I need a drink of milk. And that is United States Republicans. Those are the people that are scared. That's number one. People that are scared. People number two. Remember, I said there's two different types of people. People number two. Person number two. Are eat are criminals, criminals that go out there and burn down businesses, robbing stores, committing murders. Active terrorists, terrorists are criminals. So criminals, see, there's two different types of people. There's people that are, there's people that are scared, like me, American citizens, and then there's criminals. See, there's two different types of people. There is nowhere do you see on my two fingers, do you see mental, mental people? Do you see mental people? Huh? Do you see? That means if I say uh, person number three, it's going to be mental people, mental crazy people. See, that's, th that's not a thing. It is people that are scared and criminals. So there's two different types of people. People that are scared and criminals. Do you see mental on this finger? No. That means that mental, people that have a mentally disorder is not a crime. And therefore, they, and therefore, they don't need a judge to judge them whether they need to be hospitalized or not. So, just want to get this out. I'm hoping this video will actually help someone and actually help some people later on down the line that are dealing with some pretty intense shit in their life and think so yeah that, that's what I want to go I'm hoping this video will actually help someone I'm hoping this is explaining things and getting things straight I am a Texan I am a Texan hillbilly I am American and so you're gonna be racist to me I'm gonna probably gonna hurt you so you don't need to be talking racist don't be you know, oh, this kid's making a scary video. We're going to lock him away. That is being racist straight up. You're being racist. A lot of people nowadays don't can't do the right thing. They want to be racist and try and get away with it. So my hope that this is actually helping someone. I hope this is explaining things and making things straight. I'm hoping this isn't confusing. I'm hoping this 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 fixes your guys' point of view on people. I want you guys to repeat after me. There's two different types of people. There's people that are scared, and then there's criminals. Mental 
someone with a mental disorder or someone with mental health is not a crime. If they do something, if they do something deadly or if they hurt someone, then they have a, then they have a, they're having problems with their brain. They're having brain problems. Their brain is, the, their brain is wanting violence. Now someone can obviously message me and say, oh, hey, the, the law book, you know, but I want one thing to say. If there's any people out there that are smart that know a thing or two about law, let me know. In the book of the law, does it say that someone with mental, someone with mental disorder, someone with mental health is a, is a crime? Show me where that's that that that's a thing in the law book. Pretty sure it doesn't. I'm pretty sure someone with mental health, I'm pretty sure someone that's mentally unstable is not a crime. But you guys can obviously correct me. I'm just saying what I went through is complete bullshit. And that is why I'm making this video freaking weeks, months later. Because I'm looking back at it and I'm like, that's pathetic. And if I was good at remembering names, that black doctor of mine, I would totally sue her. If I had the brain to remember her name, I would probably sue her. Because she was a racist bitch. Even two days later, after she was being racist, two days later, she was still being racist. She was the only one that was being racist. She was like a... Goodness gracious, I don't even know. She was like a... Yeah, yeah she's like an Af... Like, she was like... Black African. Or... Af... Af... Yeah, Af... Yeah, could stand type of person. Or Indian. Or, in, or Indian. Or, you know, she was, she was, I'm not, I'm not being racist. I'm just trying to just, I'm trying to describe her. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very good at describing things. I, I, I haven't been to that kind of school. So I, I'm, I'm not very good at describing things. So yeah, she was, she was one of those type of people and she was racist as shit. She was racist as fuck, bro. Like, I literally just sat there and just listened to it. Like, she's like, Ugh, I can get the judge. I can get the, I can get the judge to verify if you need to stay even longer. Or if, if you're all good to go or if you need to go home. If the court sees it, then no shit. He might make me stay there. He's like, yeah, he has a gun. Oh my goodness, he's bringing out his back. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably need to. Yeah, no shit. If the video is that bad, yeah, you don't need to show it. If the, if the video was that bad, don't show it. Don't show the video to the court because you already know the answer. He's not going to be on my side, that's for sure. And a matter of fact, all you fucking did was make me stay there longer. Seven days felt like seven, 70 years.
It wasn't actually seven days, more like ten. And there was another one. There was a pregnant woman in that fucking place too. And she was, I don't know, she was just another fucking doctor. I don't know how many doctors there needs to be in that place. But yeah, we, uh, we, what, I, what, what did I do with that doctor? Well, we went in a private room and call my dad and it didn't end well. Let me tell you, let me, uh, let, me, let me, I'm not done yet. Let me tell you how that went. So, like always, remember, remember how I lost my old bat? Remember that bat? I think, I believe I made a video on it. I don't think it was this channel, but it might have been my old channel. If you go back on that old channel, there is a video of me raging and me just breaking stuff with that bat. So I lost that bat. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll just go buy a new one. So I did. I put my money into a new bat and new saw blades. New saw blades and a new bat. New saw blades and a new bat. Guess what happened? Bye bye. Again. So you're saying I just lost 60 bucks. I put my money into that and I lost it. You know how fucked up that is? When you put money into something and you lose it? It's fucked up. A lot of people out there will know will know for a fact how that feels. When you put when you put money into something and it, it gets taken away. And you literally never see it ever again. Like that's my money that you won't let me use. That's part of my money. So I made a new bat. Well, I didn't I didn't buy one. I made one. I went out there, probably saw the video. I made a wooden club. Took a piece of tree, took a tree, cut it, skinned it, done. Now I got something. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fuck you for taking my stuff away. Oh, here's another thing. I lost my machete. He didn't take, they didn't take my machete the first time. But the second time they did. Lost another item. Yesterday, I uh, started messing with another Coleman grill, and kind of works. Not very good. I might uh, go out there, take the compressor, and blow through it. See what's up. Because it doesn't really work very well. I'm obviously better off using the one that I have now. <laughs> There's something wrong with the stem. It just doesn't want to 
produce enough gas to keep the fire going. I had that machete for a long time. And that's what I'm and that's what this video is about. I'm just here to just tell you guys on how your life can be even more ruined. Now, this is just me saying. The good question is, do you want death more now than you did before? Do you want death way do you want death way more now than you did before? Me, for me, I mean, it's an option. Because that's like building an that's that's like building an empire, and then another empire comes in and destroys yours, and then you're like a slave to them. You just lost everything. That's like that's like getting a job, saving up some money, buy, buying a car, and then and then and then and, and then you meet a lady, and and then you and then you meet a girl, and then you get married. And then you guys build your, and then you guys build your dream house. And then all of a sudden, the fucking SWAT team comes in and breaks in. And destroys everything. And you guys are forced to live in an apartment. So what exactly is happening here? Except I just lost everything. But. I have a I have this year to get a job, save up my money. I can get a twenty two revolver for a hundred and ninety for two hundred bucks. Pretty cheap. Ah uh, but I might not. Pistols You gotta have a card for them to to have it. I mean to carry it, yeah, you'll have to have a permit. I might just get a rifle, bolt action, bolt action rifle, and I swear to fucking God, if I, if I lose that, I'm gonna pack up my shit and leave. That that that's gonna be the stopping point for me. If I lose that rifle, I'm out. I don't care. Fuck the job. I'm out. If I straight up, like, rifles, they're going to be like, what, 400 bucks? Can you imagine if I lost $400? Can you guys imagine if I lost $400 to a bunch of psychopathic doctors? Wouldn't that be crazy? Hi, I'm a psychopath doctor. I believe you're crazy. Hey, you don't need that. If I lost my... If I lost 400 bucks to a psychopath doctor, then would that be something? There's a whole bunch of them in Midland. There's like five. There's like five psychopathic doctors just in that hospital. The one here in Big Spring, the one... Here, the state hospital in Big Spring is actually not not too bad. Not bad, not bad. I gave it a five. I give it a five. It really was not that bad. The doctors there were the the nurses were really good. The the nurses there were actually really friendly and really nice. They were really fun to, they were really fun to hang out with. And the doctor himself, there were, I, I only had one doctor. I had one doctor. He was like, jeez, what, jeez. And right here, I'm going to try to find a way to drive me. He was like a, I wouldn't say Mexican, but I say more like, He's more Egyptian, I guess. I guess the way it goes. He's like, you know, he's right in that range. 
He's right in that area. But he was he was he wasn't too bad himself. He wasn't too bad either. He was he was actually way nicer. I prefer I I would prefer him than the motherfucking doctors. Yeah, but he wasn't too bad. But, if there's a parent out there watching this video, and if there's a parent out there that needs to send their kid to a mental hospital, and you're probably coming to me for answers, I say, Big Spring, do it, uh, s send your kid to the state hospital in Big Spring. They are nicer. They are way nicer. They are way better. They're a lot more friendly. They're less racist. They're, they're just way better. They were way nicer. I actually got out a bunch. When I was in the hospital, here in the state hospital in Big Spring, I spent... I spent... Less amount. I wasn't. I wasn't in my room as much as I was in that other place. I came out for every meal. I came out once in a while. I played the Wii. They had a Wii. I played the Wii. You know. It was. It, it was better. It was a way better hospital. But the one there, the one there in Midland, ah man, fuck that place. So yeah, I lost a bunch of stuff. If it happens again, and in case if those doctors of mine, if they, if you guys are watching this, I'm buying a rifle next year. And for some other reason, if you think you have the right to take it away, I'm going to pack up my shit and leave. I'll be better off homeless. Swear to fuck. You guys are not in control. You understand me? Ocean's Mental Hospital in Midland, Texas. You are not in control! So stop acting like you're in control. You are not in control of my life. You do not, you do not tell me where I go and where I shouldn't go. If I want to go the fuck home, I can go the fuck home. If I want to end up in jail for beating up my dad, I can go to jail for beating up my dad. I don't give a fuck. But you are not in control. You don't tell me where I go. If I want to be hospitalized three times and still go back to my parents' house, I can do that. You do not control. You're not in control. And how dare you threaten innocent people and call them psycho, call them psycho and treat them like they are psychopaths. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. You guys are a bunch of racist pieces of shit. Bunch of racist wankers. Wankers. Bunch of racist wankers. Bunch of terrorists. Pretending to be doctors. But you are not in control.
How dare you try and force a judge onto me, onto my life, and make my life a living hell even worse than what it is now? Do you seriously think a judge is going to help? If the judge sees that video and decides that I need to be hospitalized even more, is that going to make me feel better? Do you think that's going to make me even more happy or joyful? No, because I don't want to be in that fucking place. A place that pulls you down, makes you feel so negative. I don't know what that building was before. But I can guarantee that place is haunted straight up. There's, there, there had to be at least like five deaths in that hospital. That's enough to draw a ghost in. But yeah, how dare you try and throw a, a judge shoot onto me. That is unnecessary. Just throwing me in a mental hospital. Do you think that helps? It doesn't help. It doesn't help. It never helps. Never. But yeah. Fuck that place. How on earth could you be happy in a place where you feel hopeless, defenseless? Like you, like you didn't have, like you, like you're so defenseless, you can't even stand up to your, to your own doctor. You can't even correct, correct your own doctor. And while we were talking to, while me and that one doctor were talking to my dad, She was like, well, this is what we're going to do. We can either have your weapons removed and you can go back home or we can send you to a fucking boot camp. To a military boot camp. That's evil. Straight up evil. How do you not see that? How do you guys not see that? That's evil. Straight up. This pregnant bitch. This pregnant fat bitch just said that to me. And I feel so bad for her baby. Her baby has to listen to this. Her baby has to... That baby had has to grow up in that belly and listen to all this dark shit that's coming out of her mother's mouth. Can you imagine if you were a baby and you had to listen to this dark shit coming out of your mother's mouth as she's talking to a patient? It's pretty fucked up! Really fucked up.
I got nothing else to say. I'm pretty much done. I just hope you guys will understand what I'm trying to get to. The point that I'm trying to... What the, the point that I'm trying to say. When I'm, when I'm trying to go... When I'm trying to get to. And you guys will understand just how dark... Our freaking nation is going to be... Hope you guys will understand my situation and learn from it and maybe save your kid. Maybe this is the chance to help your kid be stronger so he can defend himself. Have the courage to fight back satanic doctors who think they can who think that they're in control of other people cuz i don't want that to happen to someone else and eventually it gets out of control and gets carried away to the point where there's nothing we can do to stop it Unless there's some people that want to be brave enough and go out there and try and shoot up the place. Maybe we can, maybe we can get some people to rob it. But in the meantime, you guys got to have an open mind. Like, I will never forget that, like, that day, the way the, the way they are. They're like straight up real monsters. Hoping that some of you people out there will understand that next time I film film a video, I'm not trying to be crazy. I'm trying to make a point. I'm trying to get somewhere. I'm trying to make a point. See you guys next time.